Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to quickly, as quick as I can, show you how to uh, create an Eventbrite event to sell webinar access for your Zoom webinar. I've been specifically asked this in another video. I've been through it and it works. And now I'm going to show you the quicker version of doing it rather than the Eventbrite uh, official page. There's a few things in there that will slow you down. So I'm going to show you how to create your events first in Zoom then in Eventbrite, then you need to connect through a thing called Zapier or Zapier, depends how you want to call it. Those That will link them together and will get your tickets sold as fast as possible. Uh, if you pause me at this point, it's always great for my videos. Let me know why you're here. Let me know what you're looking to do. Let me know if you've got any questions. That's how this video arrived is by somebody asking for it. And if I don't have a video on something else for you, I will try to create one. And... Uh, Obviously, I will, I'm going to split it up into three sections, creating the Zoom event, creating the Eventbrite event, and creating the Zap. Then we'll test it all through and show some funky stuff at the end. That will be time-stamped in the description, and you'll be able to see across the bars at the bottom of the screen. You can jump to each lesson, and I'll add it to my Zoom training, my free Zoom training, if you want to come and join that. Finally, before we dive in, if you get any value out of this video, it would be great if you subscribed. Let's go. Right, let's start by creating the Zoom webinar. So log into your Zoom and log in and I'm just gonna delete this one because it may confuse it. The test one I've done. Schedule a webinar, right? So I'm gonna call it uh, my Zoom event bright uh, webinar. I'm gonna turn my emails off and the sound of it because I need to show you emails coming through. Let me just turn the sound off my computer that out. Um, Call it obviously whatever your Zoom call is, whatever your webinar is. For this, I'm just going to call it my Zoom event by webinar. Put in your description, obviously in your Zoom. Do whatever you want to do. Select your template if you've already got a pre-made one for Zoom. Set your time. So we're going to go at 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, duration. We're going to... Um, Remove required password. This is important. You need to leave registration ticks and remove required password, right? If you want your panelists to tick on, if you want people to come in, this is all general Zoom setups uh, and then schedule. Um, make webinar. You can leave this. This Everything else is as you set it up as normal, your webinar, right? So look at my other webinar video if you need deeper things. I just want to get your ticket in sorted. One quick thing here is it, the question always comes up, how do I stop people signing in from multiple devices? Then you click here and make sure that this is unticked, right? So you don't want people to email your event link. So when we sell the ticket, you're going to get a Zoom uh, confirmation saying this is where you link, where, this is where you uh, click the Zoom meeting to access a Zoom meeting. Now we don't want people to forward that on to anybody else. So five people can get in. So we make sure this is unticked. Allow attendees to join from multiple devices. Make sure it's unticked. Save it, right? So now we're set up. Our webinar's ready to go. That's all we're going to do on that side for now. The webinar, you can do your tinkering, you can change your settings, but all you really need to make sure is that um, registration is enabled, password is off. Cool? Right, let's set up the Eventbrite event now. Now, again, I'm going to presume you know how to set up an Eventbrite event because that's you, you already know how to use it. Uh, if not, there'll be other other in-depth videos on how to do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to create an event. You've logged into Eventbrite. We're going to create an event, right? Um, start with the basics. What's it called? So we're going to call it, what did we call the other one? We called it My Zoom Eventbrite Webinar, right? Whatever you've called it. Add whatever type it is seminar or talk any any specific thing if it's about fitness add any tag then prove it so that people find it on eventbrite you know um sport oh you do add conference probably spelled that wrong conference go on then add whatever tags you know how to set up your eventbrite right location important your location is online right so your location's online and your, divet, your time is tonight at 7 p.m. And it's going to finish at whatever time after that. So let's say it's an hour. 
right? So the event start time is the same as your Zoom start time, and then the end time is the same as your duration, right? It doesn't matter if it runs over. Save and continue. You're gonna add some information. So again, you might put in my Zoom webinar. Now in the instructions from Eventbrite, they said put your Zoom join link in there. I'm not sure I would. I've just put your description in there. Come and join us. Uh, save and continue. Because it's an online event page, you can add here, it's a webinar. It may confuse it a little bit, but you can add the webinar title again. So this is the sales page. This is um, the information that they're gonna get when they've bought, and it says here Zoom. Now, if you wanna put share the Zoom link, the only way you can get it off this page is if you unclick register and save, now it will say here the join link. So this is going to be the join link. So you can copy this, paste that in there, right? Save and continue. And then you want to go back to Zoom and edit it and turn registration back on. So the only way you can get to the Zoom link easily, um, the, the join link, because obviously when there's a registration, there isn't a join link, there's a registration page link. So that's a little bit of confusion that the information on the Eventbrite page maybe doesn't clear up much. Decide how much you're gonna charge for your event. Is it gonna be uh, paid, free, or donation? Donation, obviously, where they decide how much to pay. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be free. There's 100 tickets. Uh, can go on sale today and save, right? Lots and lots of things that you can do to edit your your uh, Eventbrite page, but I'm not gonna go into that. This is just creating a basic event, creating a basic webinar, then we're gonna connect them together. Oh, sorry, then publish your event. Publish the event now so it goes live. Uh, configure, configure and export attendees with Zapier to transfer registration data to Zoom. That is the next thing we are going to do, right? So now we need to create and configure the Zap, the information on how it's transferred from Eventbrite to Zoom. And it's done by something called Zapier or Zapier. I'm never quite sure who or what wants to do it. Depends where you're from in the world. And we're gonna configure it, right? So you're gonna to have to log in. You may get a different screen, but it's gonna say uh, which Zap do you want? And what we want is this one. We wanna scroll down to this one. Use Eventbrite attendees to create Zoom webinar registrants, right? Use this zap, and we're gonna connect it on both ends. So the Eventbrite uh, option here is uh, my login at Eventbrite. We're gonna choose the organization. If you've only got one, it will come up with here. Now, what's interesting, doesn't show here the event, the Eventbrite event, and I may even suggest don't do it like this. Do it via Zapier and create a app. Now, the reason I'm gonna say that is because we're gonna select the event. What happens if you've got more than one event, right? So I want you to make a zap at the top here. Create a zap and go Eventbrite, right? Type in EVE, Eventbrite, new attendee registration, continue. Right, we're gonna connect our Eventbrite account and continue, and this time it says the event. Choose the event, right? So we want to type, we want to find the event. Oh, choose the organization first, because then it'll come up. Now when we go to event, it'll find my Zoom event right way. Because you're going to ask me, what happens if I've got more than one event, right? Continue. Now, here's what's interesting. It, it wants to find, it wants to find some information. Right, so if no one's already bought your event, it, it may get stuck here. Testing, it may say no event available or no information, right? Uh, create a new attendee in your event and trigger, right? So what it's asking you to do is to go back to your event, view your page and buy a ticket. So buy a ticket from someone because we need to create some, some um test information. So we're gonna create, Paula Happy Me has just bought a ticket, right? Buy your ticket, you're gonna get your information. This is just a test, right? Register, tick, tick or don't. 
I've bought a test ticket in my name, right? So now when I go back to this app and test it, it's gonna find that test information. There we go. So how much they paid, all the data, where they bought it from, information, right? So that is the information we want. We only need the email, really. We only need the name and the email. So now we're gonna continue. It's gonna say, where do you wanna send? What do you wanna to send to? So we're gonna send it to Zoom, right? Zoom. Um, create webinar registrant, right? We're gonna create it and we're gonna continue and we're gonna select the Zoom account. So we're here, it may ask, it will ask you to connect to Zoom. I've already connected. So I'm gonna to connect to my Zoom account and continue. So you, you may need to add your account or edit your account there. So then it's gonna ask me which webinar and it'll go and find and I'm gonna click, I'm, I'm gonna click the webinar that uh, is required. It's gonna ask for information. Sometimes it may pre-populate. So email address must be added. First name is the Eventbrite first name, Paul, and the last name is the last name, right? So it's found that, oh, first name, last name, and uh, confirmation email, confirmation email is true, I believe, um, right? So we continue. So now we have got this test email. Our oh, confirmation email, yes, is true. You want to send the confirmation email of how to get into the Zoom, right? You might not want to and put that on the ticket, but I would do that as I would do it as it's Zoom's going to send you a confirmation. Test and continue. Everything's working. We can confirm this by seeing here. Here's the Zoom webinar. Currently, no registrants. If I if I register if I uh, refresh this page now, there is registrants registrants one. And when I view it, it's Paula Happy Me. That's me, what we've just sent. So the test worked. You're gonna get various emails saying the test worked. So your zap now, you need to switch it on. Turn on your zap, turn it on, right? So the zap is created and it is switched on. If you get stuck with this point, comment below, send me a message. And I'll maybe do it, if, if it doesn't make complete sense, I'll maybe do a step-by-step -step slower version. But now we are live. The, the event is live, the Zoom is live, and the webinar is ready. Right, so let's test the whole process start to finish. I'm gonna go to this event and I'm gonna pull it up in a different page, right? So let me go to Safari and here. If I go to this event, here's the event. Yes, yours will be prettier. Yes, yours will have more information. Um, I'm not signed in. Somebody comes to your event. Here's the information. Register for event, right? So it's going to come up. General admission is free. Buy it, pay for it, whatever yours is going to say. Register. I'm going to put in um, tester Paul, tester Nicholson, right? I've done that many different things. I just kind of keep changing my name, right? I'm going to put in test. 1538 at com is the email. And I'm gonna confirm that. I should type it in really. Oh, it won't let me type in. Test 1538 at com. Again, up to up to your uh, registrar if they want. So I'm gonna buy the ticket. This is the ticket bought, right? So here we go, ticket purchased. View the ticket. Now, when I view the ticket, this is where, when we put the join information in, so when you go view links, here's the webinar when it when it um, starts. We can click it, and it would, in theory, open the Zoom. It would it would open the Zoom webinar if your Zoom was live, but that's not what we're too worried about. And we can change event details, but that's where they're getting that information. Now you will see this is going to be a little bit confusing because it sent me as the host of the webinar, some information, and it sent me um, the um, the person going to the event information. So I'll try and clear up what's coming. Right, test 13, 1538. This is, this is the initial ticket. Welcome to the webinar. This is the ticket that you can click on from Eventbrite, right? This is Zoom telling me the owner that Test 1538 have just bought a ticket, right? So this has come to me, the owner of the Zoom webinar. So I've just seen 
that, I, that someone's registered for my webinar. This is the email that the, the person who just bought the ticket. So again, it's gone to tester. This is the Zoom information. So here is your information. So the person who bought the ticket is going to get um, three emails, right? You could change it. You could turn the Zoom one off if you want. So you, they're going to get the email saying, welcome to Eventbrite. They're going to get the email saying, here's the information of how to access the Zoom meeting. They just click here and they're going to get an order ticket confirmation. So they have been added now to the Zoom meeting. When your Zoom meeting goes live, they can click the join. They can do everything they need to with the Zoom. If I go here, registrants one, I'm going to re refresh it. Registrants two. If I view it, test 1538 has been added. So when you go live on your Zoom, that person can join and you can talk to them through Eventbrite or whatever as well. So I hope that made sense on both the Eventbrite and the Zoom side and, and the little zip, zap here in between that needs to be the connector. I hope it, it, it demystified a little bit. The, the description field, the, the install guide on the Eventbrite side was a little bit, I thought, too many steps. So hopefully this shows you that it works and it is good. Uh, if you come to pnuk.co, um, pnuk Zoom training, I have a Zoom training uh, training course where you can sign up. It's completely free. I'm adding these steps. You can ask me questions, just like one of the students asked me about how to use Eventbrite. I may even create a training course on how to use Eventbrite as well. Hope this helped. Hope it, hope it got you through. If you get stuck, right, and it, put the comments below or send me a message uh, and I will try as my best to help you. And if you've got this far, uh, a subscribe would be awesome. Thanks, guys. Good luck to you with your Zoom and your um, Eventbrite ticket events. Cheers.